been a while since I've done one of these, but uh, we're back for 2020. Second round of the year, Wang went reasonably planned for half a uh, half of the time, but anyway, that's what happens. Uh, I've got the new toy in my hand. It's just a bit of a cheap over to get me by. Uh, wearing the uh, rocking the uh, run fish shirt. Glad I picked the right size. Pink, meh. Bit more shirts. It's nice and comfy, nice and fit, nice and snug. Yes, folks. I have been washing my hands for 20 seconds at a time. I've been washing them more often, actually, but I don't think it's actually been more conscious because of it. I'm just I'm going to the toilet a lot more. I don't think I'm getting sick or anything, but anyway. This is just the room here in Port Mac. It's not much to look at. Bit of food. Traveler's tip. In the strap, for those of you watching overseas, always pack one of these shopping bags because you won't get shopping, you won't get free plastic bags. And if you do, you have to pay through the roof for them, so you're better off getting some of them. So we wander around. Laptop. Presently surprised. I don't know why they're selling Big M in uh, Port Macquarie, but you take advantage while you can. There's the bag. I'm just going to be flopping on that soon now. As we go around, we've got the lay, we've got the flat gear laid out, all laid out, ready to go now. To, now, because it's the buster in Port Macquarie, I'll have to remember that it's, remember we've got to train a few transitions. I may plan to change socks in between, in, for the last 5k if I've got time. We shall see what happens. Starting this bit for the half. Thing under the 10 and under the 5. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to change shirts. I've got the uh, capacity to change shirts if I want to. Not sure if I will. It's just gone sunset here. Nice little uh, sunset through the trees. Port Mac, nice quiet little town. I'll probably record a little more later. But anyway, Maybe wondering what the race plan is. Well, the race plan for Saturday is not much because the race is on Sunday. Don't know why I said that. But Sunday, Sunday the race plan it differs a little bit because this year there's cutoffs, and unlike last year, and this year I've basically got to make sure I finish the half inside two and a half. Now the first half at Wayne was a 205, with the first 10k at 56. What I want to do is I want to run a little slower in that first 10, but make sure I get to get, get the half in around about 50, 158. That's what I'm aiming at. If I can get a 158, then uh, the change won't be taking too long, the change won't take too long, and everything will be sweet for legs two and three, which will come shortly afterwards. As long as I start, Oh, the second leg on the uh, 10k at the same time as the others, it'll be okay. So I do the 10k and then basically I did a training run on Wednesday. Now I'll just bring it up on the uh, on the Strava on the Strava online. This will take a while, as you can see. It's a it's not it's a relatively new toy I've got here had it for a little while now but it's a relatively new toy it does a job so I'm not, hopefully this will come up but I did training run I think it was actually last Sunday not Wednesday when I was there's two training the training run I did on Wednesday and that was on and basically the plan was to run 20 k basically to run at a rate where you run for 12 minutes and then your active recovery basically walk for three oh dear oh dear I scroll all the way down this is going to be silly now it did only cover 11.9 because of wet conditions so I had to uh, curtail it somewhat actually it'd be quicker if I just go into here and I've got running log cab running log this run here, this is the run here. So this is the run here that I did on Wednesday, which is confirmed to me 
what I plan to do in the 10k and the 5k. So yeah, run it. I mean, probably maybe a little bit quicker than 6:17 if I can. But yeah, 12k, 115. So that's pretty much the pace that I want. Probably a little bit quicker. I probably want to go 2.2k run, 300 walk. So I get that 10k in an hour. On that run, I think I reached the 10k in. If I just had a split, yeah, it would have been uh, slightly after, would have been well and truly after the hour mark. So that's basically the idea of that. And then we get through the five. The other aim is I want to try not to be one of the last five to finish. So I know it's a very silly aim, but almost getting sick of, uh, well not sick of not finish, of finishing near last, but I just don't want to be, I don't want everyone waiting for me, but anyway, hopefully that'll happen tomorrow, it'll be 36, 36.1 k's of training, and then we'll touch base again in Melbourne on, Melbourne later in the week, and we'll do three training runs down there in three days, hopefully cover another 40 k, ramp it up, I'm not worried about the virus, there's no way I'm worried about the virus at this stage, and unless someone says, unless someone from the, for some government officials say you can't go, and even then, you know, and even then, I know it's, as Donald Trump's just, as the American president just appeared in Home Alone 2, fuck on you, uh, yeah, and all of this showing it, but anyway, uh, Yeah, they're just, uh, I'm just, just a bit obsessed with, just a bit fixed with why they're showing Home Loan 2 on, uh, 7 Flex, but anyway, uh, yeah, Melbourne, yeah, 40k, 3 days, it's, gen it's, it's generally like a staple of mine to try and run 40k in 3 days, coronavirus, not worried, uh, not worried, I'm tending to think, some makes her saying, oh, the worst is going to happen, all the worst is going to be like this, it's going to infect three and four, blah, 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 I reckon, it's gonna be, I reckon that's a load of bullshit. I reckon they want to make, they want to give us the worst case scenario, put the fear of God into us, and then we'll end up like those Sheilas of Woolworths, belting the shit out of each other over a fucking toilet, after fucking toilet paper, the fucking bitches. Sorry about the language. But, uh, yeah, it has to happen. Yeah, I have to say it like that. Anyway. Uh, see, as long as, as long as, well, I mean, most of the cases, we know, are basically linked to Italy and Iran at the moment. Anyway, China's just about cleared. So we should be fine in a couple of, uh, should be fine in a month or so. Maybe a month and a half. It's not to say people won't get it. It's just that the worst of it will probably be over and we'll end up getting more a little later. That's my opinion, I'm sticking to it. No scientific fact, just the gut feel. Anyway, that's a wrap. I might get some sleep. I struggled to get some last night. Might notice the bags been even for eyes. We'll get up reasonably early. I don't have to start tomorrow until, I think it's 7 o'clock. I think it's 7 o'clock. So as we look on the on as we look online, sorry as we lost the camera there for a minute. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's a 7 a.m. start, so I can afford a little bit of sleep in. Normally, a 6 a, normally these things are a 6 a.m. start or a 5 a.m. start, but 7 a.m. start tomorrow. So it's going to be good. We'll uh, make sure we get up and we'll get going then. Good night.